Welcome back to Fear and Hunger Termina. I doubt every episode I do will be like a full hour and a half long. That was fairly excessive. I mostly just wanted to dive in and like really get into things and see what all we could do. I, I'm a little bit surprised actually that I can't start scribbling around on that and just kind of like destroy it. Uh, you know, I don't even know. Just uh, uh, tweak it, add it, twist it around and, and see like what kind of weird demons it summons. I don't know what the consequences of that would be. Everything you do in this game has some consequence to it. So I would, I would love to be able to mess around with that. I was chasing Tanaka before, so I didn't stop and inspect everything around here as thoroughly as I could have. I think I, I did run inside. Uh, you can tell. You can tell that the mist has come in more thickly. The characters on the train were all talking about it. And now that I've left the safety there and I'm out wandering around again, I can see it and feel it as well. And I'm, I'm going to pick up all these herbs and things along the way that... I'm certain will be beneficial. I did want to try to get back to the place where I know that there's another big ritual circle scribbled on the ground. I I don't know exactly what all I'll be able to do with it. And nothing perhaps, but maybe I can like learn. Yeah, this this was the one I had in mind. So if I interact with this one here. Ah, uh, see, I feel like I can tell. I think. I'm pretty sure it's different than the one on the train. So I thought I could either learn something from it or change it to look like the one that I had seen on the train. Some Something along those lines. I do want to double check. I have the pistol, but I don't think I have any bullets anymore. Yes. So he continues unarmed. Yeah, definitely don't want to do that then. I am so injured, which has me very concerned. This was nothing up here. Yeah, that's just you can collect a, an herb, a resource up there. Proceeding with caution. <laughs> this, okay, so that's not even the area where we saw someone like strung up before. So it, I, I, I wandered wide around everything before. I don't want to go back down into the well. That was an, uh, a major mistake, pretty obvious mistake perhaps in hindsight as well. I want to inspect the body. Uh, I probably had already done so. It's kind of twisted that the things you've killed remain oh scattered around here. I guess I hadn't properly inspected before so um my current knife that i have is actually better than that axe although i could have had that axe sooner and probably would have benefited from it the basement key though um that has me a little i'm, I'm uncertain because obviously there's these other parts of the house that i'm fairly certain are where that would be needed but I need a different entryway. And my assumption was that that entryway would be found down at the bottom of the well. But I, I am fairly confident at this point I will just die if I go there. Can I, like, poke around the side of the house? Not, not even at all. There's, like, a, 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 an invisible wall there that you can't even move past. So that leaves me quite uncertain. That I can't, like, what else would that be for if not for directly using on the house that the woodsman was found outside of? But I, I don't know where to go exploring. You hear distant screams and ramblings. You are not alone. Doorways boarded up from the outside. Is it to keep something in? Yeah, I guess boarding it up from the outside is strange. I, it, it, you would make, it would make me think it's, like, abandoned. This is a part of the town I didn't go to previously. This is different. Ugh. A striking smell of mold feels the, fills the damp cottage. Bloody toilet hole. The seat, seatings are covered in blood, feces, and semen. Everything. All the, the three main ones, hey? The smell is beyond anything you've experienced before. The smell brings up an immediate gag reflex. 
there's absolutely nothing inside except for the aforementioned every bodily fluid that is uh, conceivable. Well, I can tell you right now, I don't want to jump down into that. I presume that'll go horrifically. Oh my god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> um, first off, there was definitely, like, just people strung up around there that I don't want to go anywhere near or mess around with. But I also uh, am very injured, and I saw someone running around up there that I don't want to fight. And I can't, like, harm from a distance. Oh, please don't keep chasing me. No, no, no. I don't want to deal with that. Are you gonna, you gonna keep sneaking up on me while you've wandered away? Shit. Oh, so that's how you run. There you go. The, the running. He's got a little bit of a sneak, sneakster's run stance. So you can see the stamina up in the top left there. It's the same button you would use to shoot while you're in this, like, viewpoint. Uh... But you, there's that whole thing, you can't run and gun. I don't think it'll be worth it to try and run past, especially since it described that your stamina drains more quickly when you're, like, actively running from someone. Uh, I can't. I, like, can't risk it. I will die. <laughs> they, If they hit me even once, I think I'm toast. I have that save point that I believe I would be able to keep going back to. So, like, maybe I should be playing a little riskier knowing knowing that I have that. But I think if they get one hit on me, I'm dead. <laughs> so, that's not so much a risk at that point as it is a suicide mission. So, that makes me less inclined to go that route. My mind is doing all right. I can... I think I kind of need to do it. I'm saving one of them in the hopes that I find the opportunity to turn it into a potion instead. I don't know why my hunger is being calculated down to a decimal like that. That seems like maybe a, a little bit of a mistake. Mm, I wish that it worked the same way as the healing items did, where it didn't close away from your character when you feed them. This, the same way when I could stay on the healing screen and apply multiple healings. Alright, I'm lining myself up. There, there's like a threshold there that they're unwilling to cross. So I'm going to start running. Okay. Okay. Oh, I ran into a wall there. That's no good. Dangerous business. Bloody ritual crucifix. They used to have these in the olden times, but you've never seen one in person. We calling that a crucifix, man? People have been gutted balls to chin there. The smell and sight of the sacrificed corpses is repulsive. You feel like throwing up. Well, you did just wolf down eggs. That was probably, like, the worst thing you could have gone for immediately before staring down some rotting corpses. So, yeah, I, that would be uh, a foul odor. Oh, shit. There's that uh, pig, pig-headed pig butcher. I don't know what uh, how else to refer to that guy. He is not someone I want to get anywhere near or mess around with at all. Oh, okay, it is a cross. An old wooden cart. It seems to have been in constant use for decades, judging from the detritation. De detration? These pigs are standing in the pen. They look well fed. Well, what are they being fed? Ah, shit. Okay, uh, vegetable pie. Um, green herb. Nice. Just trying to, uh, gain some extra things. Basement, maybe? It seems to be locked from the other side. Shit, nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Tiny, quick sprint. To try and put some distance between me and the guy who's actively trying to chase me down. I just want to be, like, a little bit cautious. <laughs> since everything in this game tries to kill you. Oh, come on, man. Okay, there's another another villager wandering around off to the right there. He's kind of heading my way. I, whether you saw him or not, I saw him. I'm, I'm getting out of here. Left out to dry. These They're, they're still wet. Grimy stains, a red herb, and a green herb. Okay, I didn't expect to be able to navigate that area without an, an encounter. I It sucks to have used up my herbs, but I like basically felt like I had to. Shit, there's a wolf there that I don't want to deal with. Can I make it around that without waking it up? Is that dead? Is that the one that I fought? 
uh, I'm like stumbling on my my own thoughts here, trying to guess and check where is safe for me to go. Oh, so that is this is where I've been. Okay, so that the actual town area there, dangerous. Do not want to wander into that. I I don't think I will have acquired any way to like skin these or anything, so I'll leave that alone. Because I feel that I think that's an option. I, gathering up resources, skins, furs, that sort of thing. It's not like I'm going to become a, a fur trader and sell them and make off with some big old profit. That's not really what you're working towards in this game. Secret path. Secret slash I just didn't see it before. What the shit? Kidderso? 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 Oh wait, but I then that first e kit or so I don't I don't know that how to read those like calligraphied newsprint letters very well. Uh, awaken from my slumber. Is it time yet? Um, uh, I I feel like he's not gonna want to mince words or waste time answering stupid questions, but I kind of need to know some things here. What nuisance! I wait for Venushka. Do not wake me again, worm. <laughs> From a distance, I was like, these branches coming out of the ground look like antlers. They're probably like ritualistic or something. And then instantaneously, this insane, I don't know, deer god just raised up from the forest bed. That was so cool. But. <laughs> I don't think there's uh, anything I can do with that. Certainly not currently, and I'll be terrified to ever go back now, too. <sighs> Broken. I I can't use my, my key that I just acquired on that. This is where I went down before. I'm going to go down again. I don't think I'm any like better off any more likely to get away with it or anything but could be things I missed wooden chest I have a key oh I hmm I have two lucky coins but I'm not gonna spend one I'm not gonna spend one I'll just use regular damn it the chest is empty okay okay so that's just your regular odds of whether or not you find something it's always a coin toss like that and Specifically, I can choose to use my lucky coin. That was the two listed in the bottom left there. So I, I didn't spend one. So my odds, I think, remained 50-50. Perhaps they're even worse than that. Random schematics are laid on the table. I, I got attacked down here before. I don't even know how much caution I should be using. I, I would have looked through all those. Uh, but I got caught, attacked, and then woke up on a different level of this whole weird sub-basement bunker area. I guess all of this stuff, all these sort of things that we're finding are all going to be a part of that same wartime on the other side. Well, I don't think I can force it. I don't think I can wail on things enough for that to matter, even with my big, cool knife. Yeah, I don't know. You need a bomb or something to be able to blow that up. So, I'm trying to just think through what the the lore and context of, of an area like this is in and of itself very cool. Yeah, I'm just going around in a loop there. I'll get a little bit of a sprint on. Oh, so that's my normal stamina drain. The stamina drain I was experiencing before was the speedier one because I was near an enemy. So, okay, the, the regular stamina drain is actually, like, pretty forgiving overall, considering. Yeah, okay, no electricity. There has to be a way to power up this area, though. I'm guessing that'll be, like, a hugely important thing. Down there is where we saw someone getting sawed to bits. So, obviously, I want to be cautious coming down this way. Okay, 
I think that guy's gone. Needles? Was it needles that I found here? New lucky coin. I have quite a few of those all of a sudden. Old tatters. Tatters. <laughs> I gotta inspect everything, though. This door is stuck. That makes me nervous. Chillings all around. Uh, I don't think you can inspect every single one, just the way they're spaced. Oh, I can, I can do these as well. Mm, I'm not making off with a great supply. Tatters. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna not spend my coins again. I feel like they're most important for like saving. The Epi Mask, or e EP, probably not how it's meant to be said. Oh, it's like a fencing mask. A simple mask used in competitive fencing. It isn't particularly defensive, except against piercing attacks. Uh, basically, plus two defense. And there's a bunch of percentages. Slash, pierce, blunt, fire, 97. Like, surely it doesn't defend 97%. Maybe it reduces the damage they would do otherwise from 100 down to those percentages. Based on how it described how relatively ineffective it is, that's how I would interpret that, at least. I... I want to save so badly. I, I didn't even mean to do that. I know it's not going to work. Like, I'm just nervous at all times playing this game, and so it puts you on edge, and it gives you the sensation of, like, Oh, God, I, I need to save. Please immediately let me, like, do anything to protect myself and save the limited amount of things that I've acquired. The barrels are set so you cannot examine them individually. It would be too much effort to move them around. I was actually trying to inspect that box on the ground, but sure. You unlock the door. Just create additional pathways for myself. The emergency backup generator seems like it has it's been in use recently, but now it's out of gasoline. I should have a tiny amount of gas, not a lot, but I have some. Seems like the generator needs more gas to start. Well damn you. <laughs> what what a fake out that was. I was so excited by the possibility that I would maybe be able to actually do something there. Well, all of these um I don't think you can actually gain anything from these barrels. Now now I'm wondering, am I supposed to have investigated them? Is that how you're going to get gasoline? Other than the small, limited uh, amount I found earlier. It used to be a trash can. There's just a few napkins inside. Now I want to look uh, at... I guess it would just be regular items. I was curious if I had something along the lines of an empty jerry can now. That would be something useful that I could use. I don't know, siphon gas out of a truck, something along those lines. But it seems like I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. Hey, it feels heavy. The cork is open. Smell it. It smells neutral. No idea what the liquid is based on. What the liquid is based on? That? Yeah, what the liquid is based on, based on the smell. Uh, well, shit. I was hoping to gather up some gas. I better check these barrels as well. Empty, empty, and probably unable to inspect. Oh, shit. All right, well, I guess I'm just climbing back out of here. This, this has been a rather dead end. I'll have to come back to there someday, I'm certain of it. Can't get these corks open. Uh, I've, I've tried to inspect the truck. Doors locked. Uh, I, I wanted to see if there was a way to access like the fuel tank. Wow, I sure am stuck. <laughs> creep my way past past my past carnage I think my best bet is going to be to try and sneak my way through town yeah the sneaking part of that plan uh, has basically instantly come to an end shit I tried to like run around and I cornered myself that was largely my own fault Shit. 
I'm hungry, so that's affecting me apparently. He threw down a, a bear trap, which I also wasn't prepared for. That's no good. I jump over the bear trap? I was just guarding, man. What am I doing jumping over things? Um, I guess I try and take out his arm? Yes. Oh, good. At least I got rid of that. He can still do some pretty fair damage to me. Uh, I want to take out one of his legs. Some damage, but I don't think I've outright removed his leg. Oh, that is. That did count. So he's off kilter, so I should be able to go for the head more directly, more readily. Damn it. That's supposed to, like, put him off balance and make him more vulnerable. Shit. Come on, man. No, 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 no. I need to rev myself up here. I'm, I'm spending my revs. I'm going for the head. Damn it. No. Fuck. <laughs> I, I thought if I used the, I thought if I hurt his leg and used the revs, he would be off balance and I could go for his head more directly. Well, that went really, really poorly, didn't it? I, yeah, I don't know what to make of that. I also don't really, here, here's one thing with the game though, is that like, I kind of need the, all the resources that you end up finding by like wandering around and poking into areas you hadn't previously gone and so now there's a sensation of feeling that like especially since things are randomized so you don't even know necessarily what you're gonna get uh, when you pick things back up and start exploring again but I at least I have my herbs back and things I basically know not to go back down there and use my gas since that is currently a dead end. So let me just try and gather up as a handful of resources. Ooh, I could make it back to the town. I could go back to the uh, deer god of the forest there and try to just, I'll just tell him it is time. Let's do it, man. Uh, you know, you're, you're my god. Love you, buddy. Worship you always think about you every morning noon and night <laughs> And let's uh, let's work together. Maybe Want to make sure I got the key and the axe back Although all I know to do right now all I can think to do is head back towards the village I Do not want to fight anyone if I don't have to but I, I am gonna have to heal at least a little bit in case I, I I'm gonna use one less than I did that last time oh light light blue vial so that should actually also be healing yeah quite a lot actually oh I shouldn't have no that was exactly it healed 80 and I had 80 to be healed I think that worked out exceedingly well. <laughs> so I'll, I'll take it. I'm happy with it. Good result for me. I don't know if I can, like, catch those rats. It makes me want to try if I had, like, my gun and just shoot them from a distance while I'm wandering around. Two lucky coins. Is that is that right? Did I just get two? That seems really good. Oh, there he is. Oh god, there's some other something or other up there. Oh god, th th there's there's the super fast stamina drain going on. But I'm ducking out of this. No thanks. I, I want no part of it. Not not right now. Thank you. <laughs> that uh, being able to heal that amount, it's almost like, well, shit, I should go save again. But I don't I think the game kind of punishes you for trying to play that way. Uh, like you're you have to do the coin toss every time you save of whether or not you have a safe night's sleep and so you can't just like try to save at some optimal point for a perfect conditions every time let me poke my way up here oh, yawn well I'll tell him it is time what a nuisance Ah, so he, he knows, he knows it's not who he's waiting on. That is currently a dead end. I need to come back once uh, I found that person and allowed them to join my party, perhaps. 
uh, this is not the way out. <laughs> but I wanted to poke around once I ended up there accidentally, see if there was anything to be done. Randomly bombing your way around the woods and everything. There's a chance, there's a chance you find something important. Oh wait, back to the town then. I, I do not want to fight. I would like to avoid that at like all costs. This guy is seeming like he might make me. Oh shit, will he still be there? Yes. So use a bit of stamina to deke around him. That's, I maybe as long as I like position myself and uh, wait until characters and things have wandered into that sort of position where I, there's room available to sprint around them like that. That could be a really great strategy. Bullets. Having bullets again is a, a big deal. But right now, I'm just going to talk to this weirdo who looks like he has only one limb and it's an arm for a leg. I don't know. The beggar. <gasps> <clears throat> Trying to get you behind the town of Prevville, are we? <gasps> the nast man of Kaiser blocked the place off. Eyes off limits. What's going on here? Who's got the gate keys? The Bremen army cut the town off. No one asked you anything. What is going on here? The same as always. Nothing's changed. Once a shithole, always a shithole. Well, well, who's got the gate keys? The old mayor of the old town got one. He meddled with them army boys. Also, I heard the mayor kicked the bucket. A new one got there just now. Not that we got him elections. The other key is with the men of Kaiser. They got to some business at the forest. Shady business. <laughs> I'm curious if that, that, probably not the woodsman that I found. Like, I have that basement key, but probably not that. Uh, the Bremen army cut the town off? Aye, they most certainly did. And here I thought the war was ready coming to an end. So whatever bad shit is going on here, they've been left to rot, basically. I'm not going anywhere near the pig guy down at the bottom. The sign is locked with a simple lock. The sign says closed until tomorrow. Where, well, I doubt I'm going to be able to deal with that. Uh, <laughs> allow me to lure this other villager so I can do my, my little move again. Ooh, okay, I, I had a plenty of stamina there. It was fine. The chained up coffin. The chains seem reinforced and really difficult to open. Uh, knock on the coffin? Are you kidding me, man? Are you insane? <sighs> no reaction. You cannot hear anything from inside. Cannot hear anything. This one is slightly less chained. Cannot hear anything from inside. Well, is something going to burst out of there and jump scare me? Like, what the shit? Oh, is that, I see that villagers coming back up again. No thank you to all that. The atmosphere is getting heavier and heavier. Oh. Open basement door. Tempting. Trying to lure me down. That scrow crow scared me. The scrow. <laughs> Lavender. More villagers. I, I probably am going to go down that basement. All these clothes, all these clothes everywhere are wet. Is that just the dampness of the air? <sighs> well, damp and the basement seems damp and dark from up here, as if something lurks down there waiting for you. Yeah, I want to say never mind, but the air down here is heavy, moist, and murky. The damp basement has damaged the clothes inside the wardrobe. They are ruined and moldy. I vote to not really tempt fate here. I'm gonna go just poke around with caution. That looks like someone's rib cage. A plate full of old rotten minced meat. I intend to not take any of that with me. Oh shit, I'm weak with hunger. None of it catches your interest. Oh, that always happens. I wonder if it's just a product of having to speak so much consecutively. 
I wish once you would use an item. Like, I've used the egg to heal, to reduce hunger a few times. I wish once I had done that, then it would show me that from then on how much it heals, like, rather than forcing me to memorize it. A lucky coin? I have quite a few of those. If I find somewhere to sleep to save, I'm I'm using one. <laughs> Oh, now it makes me wish, you know, that I had gone back down to that bunker and I'd gone exploring and, and found new items and things to, to bring with me uh, and, and to, to carry forward the next save that I manage. Uh, some scrap metal, bookshelves, you find the occult grimoire. Well, let's give her a read. That'll be fun. The book contains the basics of occult and magic. Information about the ritual circles can be found here. Yes, please. Magic in Theory and Practice, written by Samari Zimri, translated by Oscar Rente. So that, so that one doesn't lose his mind along with the soul, one must come prepared for all situations. The basics of any knowledge are always the most important. You need steady foundations in order to build the tower to the gods. To perform any rites on a ritual, the founding circle must be carved first. From top to bottom, the first one is the asymmetric circle. The asymmetric circle represents older gods and their one-sided distribution of power. Now, which of these did I find in that cabin in the woods and which one was written on the train? Because I, I think it's these two that I've seen. And I think this one was in the woods, this one was on the train. I'm less certain, I'm less certain. The second is the imperfect circle. The imperfect circle is the mark of the new gods who have strived for perfection since their conception, never to attain it truly. And the last one is called the perfection circle. It represents countless spiraling cycles culminating in the birth of the ascended ones, the ones who were able to go beyond human limits. So countless spiraling cycles would make a lot of sense in a location like the start of the game where we're bound to keep looping through things continuously and that first one being the old gods i'm guessing it was just some creepy forest ritual sacrifice going on for the towards the old gods one must never assign sigils not meant for their founding circles this is the lesson to take from here the beauty of these rites is that you cannot change them, but they can change you. So, if I ever make it to one of those circles again and I have a piece of chalk, hopefully I'll be able to do something. You found a rusty pipe. I'm guessing that's um not going to be better than what I currently have. It is not. My my current weapon that I have, this big like machete Kasara style knife is pretty strong like the fact that all these other things are notably weaker than it old suitcases and houseware everything seems more or less worthless here oh god oh he really sprinted up uh, around there all right I, I i'm i'm gonna try and get away from him well there goes my stamina all right there's a limit to how far he's gonna chase me though so i think i'm safe around the corners here okay Okay, I actually didn't think I'd be able to just sneak away like that. Well, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Well, they don't... S oh, they, they, I was just going to say, they don't seem like they're planning to go anywhere anytime soon. Alright, I'm sneaking past. Shit. Sneaking past. <laughs> Suckers. Okay, I made it. Not that this is, like, safer or anything, but at least I'm in a new area. Box full of papers. They don't seem important. Uh, is this, like, me losing my sanity or something? That the walls are pinching it around me like that? I'm not a fan of, of that. 61. Well, that uh, small individual food items, they seemingly exclusively heal seven at a time. I'm trying to keep my hunger decently high you know what I'm gonna go one more I, I'm, I'm committing to the carrots right now because hunger has negative effects I think especially during battle oh the imperfect circle the bookshelf and books have gathered mold they are in bad condition I find the occult grimoire again <laughs> I am gonna just keep going heads 
and I'm gonna keep not spending lucky things. Pet pills. They are a strong stimulant with performance enhancing effects that high raises your awareness. The withdrawal tires you out. So I would have state uh, ex speed boosted and after that, I guess I will be slowed down. The altar of the new gods. To appease the one sitting at the grand hall, you must put forth a worthy offering. There's a ritual circle here. I... You have nothing worthy to offer. I think you have to give, like, flesh. Like, collect limbs, torsos, blood, things like that. And I have none of that right now. Random junk, papers, files, folders, nothing. Empty bucket with stains. At least I have a way out. <laughs> I can scramble up that ladder if I get wigged out. There's a bone saw. Seems like it's been used recently. And a fleshy severed hand, which I'm also planning to take. <sighs> this is what I was thinking. Oh. Yeah, I actually thought that I'd be able to throw the arm in there. Pray for the new gods. You finish praying. Nothing. We will leave that as is then, and I'm cheesing it out of here. I think I think I explored every room. I kind of got scared. <sighs> is this the house that I was in before? Dirty dishes next to the sink. Terrible stench oozes from the refrigerator. Find a white vial. Old and rusty pot with grimy stains all over it. Looks like this bucket has been used as a nighttime toilet. Smell of mold emanates from the wardrobe. A bed, a bed. I could save. There's barely anything in the dresser, just some old socks and underwear and like putrid meat. Yeah, rotten putrid meat. Same difference. More glass shards. Nope, can't even collect those ones. This is, I don't even think, the house I thought it was. No. No, this is different. Ooh, blue herb. That's good. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't want to mess around with that. God damn it. God damn it. Um, where am I all of a sudden? I don't know any of this. Oh, shit. I didn't want to be in, like, a totally new area. Oh, God. That was my stamina drained already. Okay. Okay. I have... Uh, dirty old toilet paper. Is that what I just pulled was toilet paper? I, I hope if I sleep here for the night that someone doesn't have the ability to come climbing up that hatch there and just, like, let themselves in. That's one thing that's, like, directly terrifying me here. What did I find? I, I was in such a panic. Um, I'm, I'm not seeing anything that makes sense. I, th I swear it was called... It, it was dirty something. Is it equipment? Oh, I, I, I don't have my fencing mask? I, I did die. I did die after that, didn't I? Shit. Uh, well, I don't even know what I just picked up out of there. Um, that is too risky. I don't know what is out there. <laughs> Everywhere is risky. Everywhere is a danger. Like, I can't pretend otherwise. But what I would like to do is make my way backwards. I'm going to try and make my way back to the hatch, which is quite far away. I, I hopefully will gather up more supplies from there. I want to make it back to here. Why? Oh, God, I hate it. No, no, no. That's the worst shit I've ever heard. Get the fuck out of here, man. My hands just got so sweaty. Sprint. Put a little bit of a sprint, but not all of it. I don't want to use all my stamina. Shit. Uh, is, uh, okay, this is what I was worried about. Okay, I gotta, I gotta switch to D-pad. My hands are sweating too hard. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's gonna catch me. Limited stamina use. Yes, he got a little bit caught on the wall there. I don't want to fight them because I don't know how many more fights I'm going to have to encounter, make my way through with my current plan here. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sweating. Not just my hands. I am sweating now. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, okay. 
um, I need you to line up with me, man, so I can immediately sprint around you. Oh, I got hung up on those walls a little bit. It's kind of a miracle I made it through that. No, no, no. No, no, no. Big pig guy. Big pig guy. I can't risk fighting him. He will wreck me. I'm almost certain of it. Sweaty hands, sweaty hands. Oh, oh. That was maybe as far as he's willing to chase. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, sprint, sprint, sprint. Oh, I'm stuck on the wall. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get me the hell out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I've, I've learned my lesson from back in the day playing this game. That if you just try and take on every fight that comes your way, you're going to get your ass kicked and you're going to die over and over and over again. So no thank you. I'm out of here. Fuck all of you. <laughs> I'll just go gather up some mushrooms and just have, have myself a pleasant old time. This is what I was wondering. I was wondering if I was coming back up in the half of that building that I have never been in before. Uh, nope, I just popped out somewhere right in the smack dab middle of town. What is this direction? I, I did go this way before, right? I'm, I'm not wandering into some total... That's the horse. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going to the bunker. That's, that's my destination. I... Uh, <laughs> in my wandering, I found a, a green herb, a few mushrooms. Like, I, I've kind of found some new things, new random items to collect and add to my inventory. Uh, but at the same time, I'm a little bit lost. I don't actually remember how to make it back to that truck directly, apparently. I thought it was like a really straightforward, inevitable thing. That the this section of the forest was more or less linear. And that you couldn't really get lost. Uh, but this game... Messes with you, man. I'm straight up just back at the train. What did I do? Oh, and I'm sprinting around everywhere. I'm, I'm wasting uh, sustenance. How do I even refer to my, my hunger as like a resource, you know? But I, I'm low is what's happening. Not even that low, but I'm running out and I'm wasting time here. Where the hell are you, truck? Now I'm immediately back at the town again. Is it is it off to the left? Do I have to make it through the town and then up and around things? I'm sprinting past. Oh, that didn't work as uh, as expected. All right, uh, uh, reset, reset. <laughs> I, it's not like anything is marked on the map. I can't like directly just see. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. The old truck marked. So I don't have that. I don't have the benefit of that. Sprint and around. Okay, save some stamina, save it up, save it up. If it's not this direction, shit. Then I don't really have any ideas. I don't know if uh, the pig guy is going to be free and wandering. Yep, yep, and he's, uh, he's aggravated. Oh god, okay, okay. Break free. You guys aren't willing to come further than that. Tsk, tsk, tsk. <laughs> But I am, like, fully confident that that's where I need to get to. I'm, I may have screwed myself, though, now. Because now this guy's been lured over to there. Is he ever going to leave? Or is he just going to camp out that spot now forever? And the only way past him is going to be to fight him. And I'm not going to be capable of that. And now I'm going to wish that I saved way back when I had the comfort of that one specific location. I can see him up there. I don't know if they're, like, aware of me. You know, they might just be hovering there. Their AI is telling them that's where they need to be. But, like, will they leave? What if I leave? I'm going to go do other things. You guys enjoy yourselves. I'm injured. When did I become injured? Is that just a product of being hungry? Like, goddamn, man. This game. <laughs> I... I I'm, I'm like avoiding every possible conflict there is, and I'm still injured. <laughs> Screw you, goat. You're no help. You don't want to assist me, and I'm going to bother asking. Mm. No, no, no. I can go wide of everything, because there's this path around that has the horse. Uh, up here is where I killed the wolves, and so I should have a straight shot to it. Yes, my bunker, my beloved. Okay. 
I I'm not totally cornered, which maybe to the credit I uh, credit to the game that the design, the layout of everything has been crafted precisely so you don't get trapped in like just unwinnable situations like that that you you have to fight your way through. Makeshift armor. I mean, that sounds better than army jumpsuit. Seven, a makeshift armor made from random kitchenware. The breastplate is an old stove lid. Desperate dimes breed creativity. I wasn't sure if it would visibly change the character. Like, that would be a lot of art to have to handcraft. I understand why, as, as cool as it would be. Scrap metal, nothing. Oh, is that a gas can? Wow, okay. That's more, I have more than one gas can all of a sudden. There was a second one down here that whole time. Shit. Uh, <laughs> I, this is great. This is good news. But I, I can't. I can't keep just screwing around and risking everything. Instead, I'm making my way through this. I'm collecting the few bits of, of items that I know are down here. Uh, that I don't think I ever would have touched. No, I, I did make it through all that. It's over at the lockers and everything. Whatever I can get, man, it'll be worth it. Uh, there's a guaranteed lucky coin, apparently. That is separate from, like, the random, uh, items that will have spawned in lockers. Otherwise, these are all just stuck. I, I'll take the few shillings. Okay, the the what is in the lockers might not be randomized either. Because three and two shillings were the same things I had found before. <sighs> Sticking with it. Nice. Two lucky coins. Okay. Okay, suddenly. Suddenly I actually am, am rich in coins. Very specifically rich in coins. <laughs> I am not going to put the gas in there as as much as that's like directly the thing that it's probably intended for. I would rather save it in case I find something else, some other usable purpose for it. But that was that was it. That was I was literally just wanted that lucky coin. I thought in my mind, there was more down here than just a couple shillings, so maybe it wasn't worth the torture that I put myself through to come down here and run around and avoid everything. But I'm going to tell myself it was worth it. <laughs> now i got to make it back and hopefully save. A key part of this now, though, is remembering precisely how to do that. I'm pretty sure it's as simple as just, like, run along the top path of the town, dodge around enemies, and then when I make it to the other side, there really only is, like, one way you can go. Right, I'm using a little bit of my sprint there. I'm trying to allow that an opportunity to recharge. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. I was just, the words, I'm in the clear, were that close to being out of my mouth. Yes, yes, this is good. This is good news. But now, again, I still gotta, I still gotta make it around. I'm sweating. I'm sweating, I'm sweating, I'm sweating. I'm still anticipating, oh, that's as far as he goes. He's specifically tied to that portion of things. Shit, shit, shit. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, man, get rid of that. And as soon as this battle's over, I gotta be prepared to, prepared to run. Shit, I was... Oh no. No, 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 man. That was supposed to one-shot it. That was supposed to be rid of your arm already. No, don't keep attacking. You're not supposed to be that much faster than me. Come on. I'm I'm using my like uh, favor favor here to make the the coin more likely to work. Oh, y you use two coins. That's what it is. All right, so I I made it over. I'm so injured. I'm taking out both his legs. Break off, man. Is he getting extra turns? What is going on there? I I'm revving myself up. I'm not, I'm not messing around here. 
Because I have to survive this and I have to run. I have to run past him. He loses his balance. I have to use this now, which I wanted to save. I wanted to save with, like, full health. No! Why did he get to go first? Shit! <laughs> he, why does he get so many turns? I'm going after the head. Why does he get so many turns? Fuck off, man. I gotta, I gotta immediately start running. Oh, but that might be the limit of how far that one is able to go. The monstrosity is down. Two shillings. I'm gonna beat your buddy right in front of you. How about that? <laughs> oh, Christ. Okay. <sighs> that maybe ended up not being worth it. I ended up having to use the lucky coin anyways. Like, a lot of drawbacks there. Then I did have not a lot of benefits. I, I don't know. I found some mushrooms and things. whoop de doo Fantastic. Yay for me, you know. Uh... Let's see, 50 up to, uh, added 30. Dried meat added 30, pretty good, not bad. And I am saving. Is rest for a bit not the same as saving? Faint footsteps disturb your sleep. I didn't have the opportunity to like do a thing. I didn't get to like flip a coin or anything. How do you save? How do you save if not by just going to bed? Does this count? Is that what I've done? If I survive this fight, will I have saved? Shit. I'm revving, I'm revving up. I'm immediately spending that. How is my knife not strong enough to one-shot his arm? Oh, good. Good, good, good. I'm not, I'm not spending another lucky coin on that. Well, that was really, really strong. <laughs> I have to hope I go first and that I hit his head. It's never going to happen. Damn it. How, man? Oh, shit, but it's another one of those situations where you're not even actually dead. You might as well be. Okay, no. Yeah, it's not. You might as well be dead. You are dead. I am dead. I have been killed. I'm just going to get eaten slowly but surely. All of that, all of that, all of my precious planning, trying to maximize things. This game, this game is so punishing. <laughs> There's no save. I lost all of that progress. I lost everything, everything I just did. I guess next time I better be prepared to try something different because that, uh, I was not accumulating any sort of meaningful resources quickly enough. I'm so bummed I lost, like, that armor and everything. <sighs> we'll see. I feel very defeated. This is, this is going to be a big part of this playthrough, is how often I'm going to have to just throw my hands up and put the game down and be like, I'll come back to it another time. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't bring myself to play it more today. Oh, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.